Welcome back. It is still the run-up, and uh, we've just had that very enlightening conversation about the presidential candidates that we have, in case you're just joining us. We are moving on to talk grassroots politics. Uh, it has been established that a grassroots movement is one that uses uh, the people in a given district, region, or community as the basis for a political or economic movement Grassroots movements and organizations are collective action from the local level to effect change at the local, regional, national, or international level. It is sometimes called grassroots government because it is concerned with matters close to home, such as licensing, community health, primary school education, ETC. Uh, the decision-making body at a local level is called the council. Representatives who are elected to that council are called councillors, and the leader is called the local government chairman, like we have in Nigeria. Uh, to have the conversation about grassroots politics in Nigeria with me, I have Babashola Owaje. Good morning, Babashola. You're welcome. Babashola, are you there? Can you hear me? Good morning. I can hear you. All right. Uh, let us start from the background. Can you give us a brief introduction of what a grassroots politics is about? Okay, so basically, grassroots politics is the politics closest to you. Mm. Um, so when we're talking about um, politics at the presidential level, we know that we're looking at the macro snapshot of what a politics is really about. When you're talking about grassroots politics, you talk about the uh, mode of governance, the positions of in government that are closer, closer to the people. When we talk about the councillors, uh, the members of the state house of assembly, uh, you talk about the local government chairman. These are the people that are um, the embodiment of grassroots politics. Okay. So, how would you um, how would you rate politics at that level in Nigeria, talking about grassroots politics. A lot of times, conversations don't even reach there. Uh, the 2023 general elections is upon us. People are talking so much about the presidential elections. Uh, governorship elections at the state level, people in different states are concerned about it, but nobody is mentioning anything about the local government elections. How would you rate politics at that level? in Nigeria? Uh, so, you know, last, last year when we had the local government elections in, um, in Lagos State, um, according to statistics that came out, I think it was just about 7% of the people in Lagos that voted in that, in that local government elections. And it was re it's, it's really poor mm. because this is the level of governance we really need to pay attention to. Um, when you look at the local, a lot of people don't even know who their councillor is in their area. They don't even know what local government chairman is in charge in their local government. And that is where we get it wrong. We put a lot of energy um, on the presidency, uh, the state governor, but we don't even know who our local government chairman is. We don't even know who our councillor is. And we really, really need to pay attention you know, the other day I was speaking to some people in the area and they, they don't even know the, the current House of Assembly member representing their constituency. They didn't even know what a constituency meant. You know, so we have a lot of work to do in terms of reorientation and proper um, education of, you know, what grassroots politics really is mm. to the people. Uh, so uh, you've mentioned a couple of things, but what would you say is the biggest challenge to grassroots development and politics in Nigeria? I think the biggest, the biggest challenge is um, our political institutions. Uh, we are not doing enough. And when I mean political institutions, I'm talking about INEC, the political parties, you know, even the ministry. I mean, uh, we, we have a Ministry of National Orientation. These are the people that are meant to, um, you know, that are meant to teach people, teach us and um, orientate us on the necessary, um, the necessary tenets of grassroots politics. We, mm. we make a lot of noise about, about the other posts in governance, 
totally neglecting you know um the the the, the most important part which is the um the lower cadres of government so i would i would i would put the blame on the doorstep of you know political leaders um our political institutions in the country uh, we're not we're not doing enough we're not doing enough in that regard okay so do you think there is a need to reconceptualize the grassroots or what we call uh, the local government in Nigeria, because you just mentioned how the um, you know government institutions uh, you know affect things that go on in this area. Do you think it's about the way or the concept that we have of the local government, and do you think there is a need to uh, re-strategize, or in my own words, reconceptualize the grassroots uh, politics? I, 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 I would. I would. I would um, I would go with orientation. That is what we really need: massive orientation. Um, we might want to argue that um, local government okay. autonomy um, would play a part in in um, in helping us to understand grassroots politics better. But I don't even think um, I don't even think we are there yet. Local government autonomy or not, we still have to orientate people. You know, it's very important. You'll be surprised that market women know they are yaoloja than their counselor, you know? So the orientation is very important in such that our traditional institutions as well, I, I, I mean, I dare say we, we also need to encourage, um, permit me, our religious institutions to orientate and teach, you know, their, their people on the need to understand grassroots politics. It's very, very important. There are some politicians that have mastered, you know, the art of using grassroots politics to um, capture their constituents, to capture their area, capture their community. But it's it's usually one-sided when these things happen. So we need we need a we need a an awakening at the national level actually, because a lot of people, a lot of people tend to look towards the macro, you know, the macro aspect of of, of governance, which is the presidency. And the governors, these people have a lot of work to do in telling, um, in directing their political um, associates, their political um, colleagues uh, on sending massive orientation downwards, you know, towards like a funnel approach, you know, towards towards um, grassroots politics in their various local governments and in their various constituents. Okay, I understand that you're running for office and you have all these ideas about grassroots politics and the local government. How has, uh, you know, politics at that level helped you in your own campaigns as you're running for office? Okay, thank you very much. So last year, um, during, the, during the local government elections, I, I contested as well. So I was able to learn a lot you see, the thing about, I am running for um, the post of House of Assembly mm -hmm. in Koshofe 1, and I've been able to understand, you know, first of all, we need to know the words that constitute the constituency. Um, since we have gone past that level of knowledge, the next thing to do is to reach out to the, the members of the constituency one by one. And when I mean one by one, I don't mean going to um, each and every one of them. But you can find them in clusters. A lot of people have small groups. Um, they have um, community development associations, CDAs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been able to reach out to them one by one. Politics really at the grassroots is about reach. You know, the reach is very, very important. And what we've done is to micro-analyze, you know, these various groups and to see how we can reach them one by one to, you know, sell sell the dream and sell the ideology we're trying to push, you know, towards the election. All right. Thank you so much, Babashola, for joining the run-up this morning. It was a really, really nice conversation with you. Uh, thank you for opening our eyes to grass, uh, grassroots politics. It was really enlightening. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, it is still the run-up. We will be going on a quick break. When we return, the run-up will continue. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us. Thank you.